Scientists say now dominant strain of the coronavirus appears to be more contagious than original. Told you so. I got another one today. Called it. But I, I, and this was this was even in the headlines, not just as this. Remember, I called this a month and a half ago. I said, look, every virus goes through mutations. They usually become less deadly over time. But that's not going to stop the mainstream media from going crazy with this. And we already know there are multiple strains. At some point, you are going to see fear-mongering headlines about what are normal mutations of a virus like this, as with any flu-like virus. So a new dominant strain, more contagious than original. They won't say less deadly. They won't say this is normal. They'll just put out these fear-mongering headlines. And remember, I got half of my prediction about two weeks ago when they said, ooh, there's 30 related substrains. Oh, yeah. Well, wait till we turn this into another fear-mongering headline. Here it is. Here it is. From the LA Times, from Yahoo.com, new dominant strain, more contagious than original. And this is my one persistent fear. Still checked by the rave suit we showed you yesterday that they are now making commonly available bubble helmets so that you can go out and party uh, and know that you're not going to get the coronavirus. They can, the worst they can do is bully us into hazmat suit world. From the wallstreetjournal.com, US Treasury expects to borrow $4.5 trillion in fiscal year as stimulus spending soars ever to combat coronavirus pandemic dwarfs borrowing during and after 2008 financial crisis. Again, the lies, the lies, the lies, just right there in your face. Getting you to think, and this is, if you, their methods have gotten better. You know the quote from Goebbels, the German Nazi propagandist in World War II? Oh. Tell a lie, tell it big, tell it often enough, and eventually everyone will believe it. Something like that. That's what's happening. The lie is that what the government is doing is to combat coronavirus. The other big lie is that the economic pain we're experiencing is because of the coronavirus. It is not. It is because of government doing things to fuck you over and take advantage of you on behalf of its sponsors, as it always has and always will. And it's right here, even in this headline, the Wall Street Journal. The effort to combat coronavirus pandemic dwarfs borrowing. Okay. First of all, even just an honest language about what they're talking about. Of all the money that the government is spending, how much is going to combat the coronavirus pandemic versus compensate for economic loss allegedly caused by the coronavirus pandemic. There are two layers of lie built into this. The actual fact of the matter is that a very small amount of what the government is spending is going to say to ventilators or oxygen tanks, protective equipment, morgue vehicles, Hospital, whatever, and it's, it's nonsense because you know what's happening in hospitals is that people are getting laid off because the overall demand is going down, and, and elective surgeries are being canceled and pushed back. Insane. So they're saying that that that's the effort to combat the coronavirus pandemic, and that the pain that we're experiencing now economically is caused by the pandemic as opposed to the government shutdowns. And this is such an obvious lie to expose. Really obvious. You know, look at what other governments are doing around the world. Of course, they don't show that. Most American mainstream media outlets, are, hey, by the way, how bad is our government fucking us compared to how bad governments in other parts of the world are fucking their people? They don't want you to ask that question. But a very easy look around the news, just a little bit more. And again, I, I, I really want anybody who's watching this to maintain your empathy for low information people. So well, we all are. It's, I mean, I've been a low information person. 
No, first of all, yes, they will come around eventually, but they are there. There's a lag, and again, in my own humility sense here, right? I fell for some of it, and had to then read more news. And oh yeah, that's bullshit. If you're not reading much of the news and you're getting over, you know, it's easier to lie to someone than to convince them that they have been lied to. Or is it what is it? Mark Twain is easier to fool someone than convince them that they have been fooled. Yeah, we're up against a lot here. There, there, as we look at the numbers there, there's a lot of propaganda. So remember that people who disagree with you because you know the truth only disagree with you because they've been lied to. I'm <laughs> sorry.